Hey, it's Greg from Scholar Farms, and this week I have been getting a lot of questions about the new Sequoia Plus camera from Parrot and how it differs from the older Sequoia. From what I can tell, the new Sequoia Plus is a combination of both improvements in hardware and in software processing using PIX4D. So you still have the downwelling light sensor, so as the camera is flying on the drone and triggering, this light sensor also captures the light data and allows you to tag that on the imagery and then you can correct for total amount of light that's coming down from the sun. And this is great for sunny days versus cloudy days uh, and time series data. Well, previously, Parrot was recommending that you use one of these, which is a calibration panel. So this little panel has special paint on it, and it's a known reflectance value, about 65% or so of the light that's coming off is reflecting, and that way you can use this panel shot uh, and take a picture before you fly and correct your imagery based on this known value. That way you're comparing apples to apples. Well, with the new improvement in the Sequoia Plus, then you can just use the light sensor data and you can correct your imagery just using the light sensor data, which should save you some time not getting that panel shot or uploading it to PIX4D for the processing. Now, one of the questions I've had is from previous Sequoia owners, uh, what about the cameras that are already out there? Well, you probably still need to use that calibration shot to ensure that you're getting accurate radiometric time series data. Now, what does it mean by radiometric? It means the absolute amount of light that's bouncing off of the plants for each of those bands. So it's radiometrically accurate. And so in order to make sure that your accuracy is good for the older Sequoia cameras, you still want to use a calibration panel. For the new camera, it appears that those values are much closer to radiometric accuracy. And PIX4D is coming out with a white paper, and I'll share the link that says that they're going to come out with a white paper that shows the known reflectance values. So they used a spectroradiometer or a meter that measures the absolute amount of light bouncing off the plants. They went out with a meter, and then they flew with the drone, and they compared the two. And it looks like the accuracy is down to about 1.5% or so for uh, some of the bands, about 4.5% or so for NIR. So... That gives you a level of accuracy. Now, one good question that I've also had is, well, what, what's the accuracy of the previous cameras? And, and they don't actually say. That's a good question for PIX4D or for Parrot. Um, but the good news is that the new camera should be improved, and we, we can expect that with technology that the previous versions or the early versions, uh, maybe they're not as accurate. And when they release a new version, we hope that it's improved. Now, if they would improve the RGB sensor, uh, may, that would be a great improvement for the Sequoia. Maybe that's for the Sequoia too. So that's just a brief rundown on Sequoia versus Sequoia Plus. I hope that helps out with some of the questions that are out there. You can check us out scholarfarms.com. We have a whole masterclass on vegetation mapping with drones and we'll see you soon.